Hi, this is Mifang. Welcome back to Do It By Yourself Tournament Control video series. Here I will explain the principles of our new method and compare it with the other existing methods. You will see why our new method is much more effective than other existing methods. The previous video introduced my new Tournament Control method and demonstrated how the method should be used. If you have not watched the first video, you should watch it. Let's play a short video to show you how easily the new method can be applied. Basically, we use plastic sheets and cardboards to create 10 or more thermal detection stations around a house. If a station is located in the middle of a lawn, you need to dig down about 4 inches deep, so that the lawn turf will continue to grow when covering back. Then, in every two to four weeks, open the stations to check for any termite activities for a total about three months. If termites are found in one or more stations, go to Amazon to buy a container of a chemical called terminal foam and spray on the cardboards in the stations with the termite activities. Termites will then carry the poison slowly to their nest to poison the whole colony, including the queen. Do not use chemical on the stations without termite activities. Let's learn some basic termite knowledge first. Termites can be divided into three types, damp wood termites, dry wood termites, and subterranean termites. Among them, damp wood termites hardly damage houses. The distribution area of dry wood termites is relatively small. In the United States, dry wood termites only exist in the southern border with Mexico and the southern coastal areas including Hawaii and Puerto Rico. Subterranean termites exist in all states in the United States, except maybe Alaska. The majority of termite damage in the United States is caused by subterranean termites. Dry wood termites and subterranean termites have different habits, so the control methods are also different. Our new method and the thermal devices available on the market can only be used for controlling subterranean termites. For the control of dry wood termites, please reference to my Kindle book. Now I will talk about the habits of subterranean termites. We must know termite habits in order to control them effectively. Subterranean termites lie quiet and humid places. The only food for termites is cellulose, including cardboards, wood, paper, etc. The termites that search for food have no vision capabilities. They need to forage randomly and just hit the food source to find the food. After finding the food source, they will leave a trace to their nest. The trace will guide other termites in the same colony to come. The main nest of subterranean termites must be underground. They can enter the house to eat the wood, but they need to return to the underground nest from time to time. Subterranean termites need sufficient water, and they cannot leave the ground for a long time. They never exposed to the atmosphere by themselves, so you can hardly see them. They do not go through the open air when they enter the house from the underground, but they will use the cracks in the foundation wall or build mud tubes. Now I will introduce the termite kingdom, which is a colony of termites. It is mainly composed of a queen, a king, lots of workers, and many soldiers. Queen and king are mainly responsible for reproduction. While workers are responsible for daily work, including finding food and caring for young termites, soldiers fight against the enemies, and the main enemies are ants. In addition to this, there are some supplementary reproductives and islets. 
Together, the total number of termites in a colony can reach two millions. Termites in different colonies never come together. As I said before, our new method is targeting at subterranean termites. There are two types of methods for controlling subterranean termites, barrier treatment and termite baiting methods. The barrier treatment is to pour a lot of chemical around the foundation wall of the house. And the chemical mostly used today is termite OSC. The purpose is to block the passage between termites under the ground and the wood in the house. The purpose is to block the passage between the termites under the ground and the wood in the house. Barrier treatment has advantages, but it is more costly and not environmentally friendly. The baiting method is to install baiting stations around the house. Many types of termite baiting devices are available on the market. Its purpose is to attract termites to eat bait with a slow-acting poison, so that the termites will carry the poison into their nest to infect other termites. The poison used in the bait must have two characteristics. The termites cannot detect the presence of the poison and it must be slow-acting must not kill the termites too quickly. The advantages of termite baiting are low cost, environmentally friendly, and can normally be done by yourself. The problem with the termite baiting is that the currently available baiting devices have three major limitations, so that they cannot effectively eliminate termites. Here are the limitations. First, it is difficult for termites to find those devices. Secondly, it is difficult to eliminate termites. And finally, termite detection is inaccurate. That means it can fail to detect or raise false alarms. Because of those limitations, the existing baiting devices are not reliable enough to be used alone. And it is often used together with the barrier treatment. Here are the five types of most used devices today. Although they are different, they all have the three limitations I mentioned earlier. So why is it difficult for termites to find those devices? The first reason is that the size of those devices is too small. Because termites find the food source by random foraging, a small device is difficult for termites to spot. The second reason is that the environment of those devices is not stable enough. Unstable environment often causes termites to abandon the stations. Why is it difficult to eliminate termite colonies? This is related to the poison used in those devices. The most of the devices on the market, including those five mentioned before, use a certain type of insect growth regulator. Such poison will not affect the grown up termites, and it will take a long time to kill young termites. If termites are not continuously and significantly feed on the poison, as that often happens when termites abandon the stations, even the killing of young termites will not be lasting either, and the termite colonies will often recover. Then why is the termite detection inaccurate? As mentioned before, it is difficult for termites to find those devices. That's why they are often not detected even if termites are living in the yard. On the other hand, those methods declare termites are detected if termite food or bait are taken or disappeared. However, other creatures, such as ants, can also eat or take termite food or bait. And the termite food or bait will also decompose by time. Therefore, even if no termites exist in the yard, it is often led to believe termites do exist. That is the so-called false alarm. Compared with the other existing termite baiting methods, our method overcomes the mentioned limitations. So why our method can quickly attract the termites? First, the size of our detection station is large. 
Our station is 18 inches square, while others are only 1 inch to 4 inches in diameter. In addition to size, our station has other characteristics that can attract termites too. For example, because underground water vapor will rise, when the water vapor reaches the plastic sheet, it will be blocked by the plastic sheet, making the detection station more humid than the surrounding area. Termites like humid places. Another example, the environment inside our station is more stable, whether it's windy, rainy, or hot. The environment inside the station is more suitable for termites. A stable environment is the main reason that termites will not abandon after finding a station. You can read my Kindle book for more reasons. Then why our method can eliminate the entire colony more completely than other methods? This is due to the poison we use. The tomato form we use has a so-called transfer effect. That's the first group of infected termites pass the poison to the next group, and the next group has to further group, and so on. Tomato is currently the most used chemical in barrier treatment. The dose we need is thousands of times less than barrier method. Tomato form can kill both young tomates and grown-up tomates, including queen and king. Tomates will die no matter they consumed or contacted the poison. Tomates can live for a couple of days after being infected, just enough to pass the poison to other tomates. Regarding to the detection accuracy, we said that other methods are often inaccurate because it is difficult for termites to find those stations, and it is easy for termites to abandon the station, and the disappearing of termite food or bait may be caused by other factors. In contrary, since our method allow you to see termites in stations, there is no possibility of false alarm. In addition, because it is easy for termites to find our station and not to abandon, the possibility of termites being undetected is greatly reduced. We said that our method can eliminate the entire termite colony, but the result was somehow depending on implementation process, such as whether a number of termites have gathered in the station before spraying the chemical, and whether there are strong disturbances to the termites. We need to wait for the termites to start traveling between the station and their nest before spraying, so that termites will continue to come into the station to get infected, and those infected termites will return to the nest to infect other termites. I talked more reminders in the Kindle book. Now let me summarize the advantages of our new method. I have listed eight items here. We have discussed the first three items in detail in this video. The other advantages are those. We avoided strong disturbances to termites. We can eliminate termites quickly. Our method is most environmentally friendly. Also, low cost or no cost and simple to implement. We do need your support. First, please do use the link I gave here when you need to buy terminal form on Amazon. You will pay the same price and I will get a small commission. I will put this link in the comment area under this video. Secondly, if this video is helpful, a donation of any amount will be highly appreciated. I will put a paper account in the comment area. The third is to recommend my Kindle book to everybody. You can search Kindle Tomato Control on Amazon. This book will give you a systematic understanding of termite knowledge and also introduces the method I'm talking about here.
as well as the principles of this method, the comparison with the other existing methods, and the precautions, and so on. I started a new Telegram group. You can use this link to join. In the group, we can discuss topics related to tournament control. I will answer various questions for using this method. Finally, here are the disclaimers. I want to be helpful to everybody. However, we are not responsible if anyone does not achieve his or her expectations after using this method or incur any losses in the implementation process. This is the end of this video. Please try to find other related videos in this series. Thank you.